Hey guys, today we're going to be reading a very special book. As some of my kids know at the preschool, this is my favorite book. And today we're going to be reading with a special guest. This is my pet Dolly. Dolly is my baby and she's my little puppy. And she's going to want to be here for our reading sesh, okay? So we got to all say hi to Dolly. And at the end of this video, I want you guys to post pictures of you and your pets, okay? Sounds good, I'll remind you then. We're gonna start with Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones wakes up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms or flew or did his laundry in Mrs. Doohiggy's bird bath. Yuck. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, not a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times, I land on my head. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I'm a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his moose, Skippy John Jones began to swing in a muy, muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like jello. I get the job done, yes indito. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezel Bell, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffermutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John Jones wasn't thinking about a, being a Siamese cat at all. Uh-oh. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious so Banda Chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Guys, that would be so cool if that actually happened. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichongos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito. The great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. This, then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. 
Why the mosquito, dude? Asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? Asked Pinito Lito. See, si, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Guys, I wonder what the secret password is. Does anybody have a guess on it? Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password in the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, choo, Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, Scapito said. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfred Bozito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumbalito. Then all the ch chimichangos went crazy local. First they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. Guys, fiesta means party and siesta means nap. But after waking up, the chimichancos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumbalito for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisper, a whisker drop. Guys, that must be really quiet. Alfredo? Bozito whispered the crowd, El Blimbipo, Bumbalito Bandito. Si, said Poquito Tito, the Bandito ste steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Skipito, outraged. Si, Poquito continued, red beans, black beans, Boston baked, blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, Pinto and jelly too. Not their jelly beans. He's still on their jelly beans, guys. And now he comes for us. Poquito added. Porque? asked Skipito. Because we are full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Skipito, the dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito, and you are the dog for the job. Me, asked Skipito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards Skipito, the great sword fighter. Dolly, do you think Skipito can do this? I think he can too. But poor Poor Skipito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamanos, Skipito, or it's you, the bandito Walito, they cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name is Skipito. Frisquito, I fear not a single bendito. But Alfredo Bozito flew straight for Skipito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Skipito as he thrust his sword into the air. Pop! Suddenly, pop! went the bandito, landing on Skipito's sword and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers. Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bozito the Bambalito Bandito. You guys see all those beans? Oh my goodness, I know Dolly wants to see him too. 
Okay. And then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Skipito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos. Woohoo! You see everybody's so happy having fun. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Banguito, Crashito, Popito, Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Holy muchachitas, he said in muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John Jones and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I gonna do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own and I'll bounce on my bed for hours I know. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mi amigos, said Skippy John Jones. The end. So guys, what I want you to do now is take a picture with your animal or your pet, or even if you don't have a pet, I want you to draw a picture of it and have your parents upload below this video. I'll see you again. Bye guys.